All right, YouTube. Previously, we were looking at the boat across a river problem, where we had a little guy trying to paddle across a river, but the river was flowing downstream. And in that problem, we tried to solve for the displacement of the dude and his boat downstream as the river was flowing. Today, what I wanna do is look at which direction our little guy would have to paddle his boat in order to wind up moving straight across the river, even though the river is flowing downstream. Now, deep down, this problem is just adding together vectors in two dimensions. So we'll use our vector addition equations. But there's a trick in this problem that gets lost on most people. So I'm going to set up a table to show you what's really going on. See, there's three velocity vectors in this problem. And each of them have a horizontal and vertical component. Now, the trick in this problem is understanding how each of these components relate to one another and then understanding how to use those components to find the actual direction this boat is gonna to have to be pointed in order to make it straight across the river. Now the problem says the boat can travel at four meters per second through the water, but that four meters per second isn't horizontal or vertical. That four meters per second is at an angle, and it's that angle we're trying to solve for. Now if we look at this vector as though it's a right triangle, you see this velocity vector has both a horizontal and vertical component. Now using some right triangle trig on this, you see the horizontal component is for cosine theta because it's the adjacent side and the vertical component is for sine theta because it's the opposite side. So while we can't put in actual numbers here, we can put in equations for cosine theta and for sine theta. Now we know the river is going to flow downstream here, so it has no horizontal component and a vertical component of three. Now we have to be a little bit careful here. Since the boat's trying to go upstream and the river is flowing downstream, we have to be careful about the sign within our vertical axis. So we're gonna say upstream is the positive direction, which means the downstream flow of the river is negative. Now the trick in the whole problem occurs when we look at a resultant vector. You see in the horizontal axis, we know the resultant velocity is for cosine theta, but vertically, and this is key. We don't want the boat to move up or downstream. We want the boat to go straight across the river. So that means the resultant velocity vertically is zero. Now it's in looking at the vertical axis and using this equation for a resultant vector in the y axis that we'll be able to solve for theta. See, plugging these values in, we know a resultant in the y axis needs to equal zero. And that's gonna be equal to the sum of our components within the y-axis. So we're gonna have four sine theta minus three. Well, rearranging this, we'll get that theta is 48.6 degrees from straight across the river. And that's it, the angle which the boat needs to point upstream in order to actually travel straight across the river. So I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.